Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Morning guys. Just woken up and there are clear skies. Kind of. Ah, shit. Already, there's already clouds. But I spoke to a couple locals and they, oh my God, look how dirty these dogs are. And they reckon we're gonna have a clear morning. So we have to seize this opportunity and we're gonna try spray gel coat on one of the transom extensions. Again, three thick coats is what we wanna put on here. So we've got clear skies for an hour at least, which is about how long it's gonna to take to prep this. So by the time we get ready to paint, it'll probably start raining. <laughs> ah, it's been raining for 16 days, one six. We've been ready to spray this for like two weeks. We just haven't been able to, and that's the one thing that's stopping us from going in the water. Please don't rain. So first we're gonna do a big clean up. nervous mainly because of the weather it's just so unpredictable we've got um, no dark clouds coming hopefully in this heat with one and a half percent catalyst we should be looking at like a 20 minute cure time so within an hour we can get all three thick coats on Three layers of gel coat, stick nicely. All we need is another solid day of sun. Look at this weather. Man, what a blessing. It has been really, really hard fighting this weather. Good morning everybody. Transom extension has been sprayed. Let's check it out. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's see how it looks. We were fortunate enough to have Julio, the gel coat pro, offer to spray the first coat for us, so we watched to try pick up some new techniques.
One coat down, one to go. That's it. Transoms are officially sprayed. Yes. Ah, oh, no. Bug just ran through the gel coat. So we'll do a little spot repair there. So now we can start sanding this, polishing it up, get some gel coat underneath there. On top of this is obviously just anti-fouling, so we don't care what it looks like, just want a couple of solid layers of gel coat, epoxy barrier coat, and then anti-foul, and then the hull's technically ready to go on. Exciting stuff. All right, so it's raining outside today, so I've got an inside job. And that is to put some shelves in here. So every time we need to get something at the back, it's always just a mission. And right now we're on the hard, so it's actually easier task now than when we're gonna be out in the water moving around. So I'm going to put in some shelves, I'm going to put two in on some rollers. I've made them over here. Boom. Boom. And I've put these little rollers on them. So yeah, every time we need to get something, we can just slide out the slide out the shelf, get what we need, slide it back in. Easy peasy. cable situation before the Annapolis boat show. They got the cables all the way to here. We're just going to get them to this um, compartment for the solar charge controllers. The problem is we've got this big blind spot here. There's a hole that goes through there and a hole that comes into this battery locker. But uh, we can't see anything in between. So we've just managed to feed one wire through. Hopefully this will bring the other three wires through. We've tied the other three onto it. That's it for now. Now we're gonna wait for the charge controllers to arrive. So we're just putting Tom's drawer back and we found a uh, little lacy number that he's bought. What do you got there, Tom? This is Buzz Shield. <laughs> I... <laughs> Keeps out the flies. Do a shout out. <laughs> Buzz Shield. Lewis Hahn. Get get amongst it. It's a good idea. I like how I can see see nipples through it. Well, the best I'm, part. I'm not <laughs> you can wear a shirt under it if you want. <laughs> Buzz Shield. Okay, guys, we have a big day today. Um, everyone's on to something. Sylvia's cleaning, organizing the galley. This is where we store our cans. We cook with a lot of cans. We do a lot of uh, slow cooker stuff. Tom's down here replacing a pump that he burnt out with bleach. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave bleach in a sump box. It melts the pump. We're also about to take the paper off the port side transom that we sprayed. The spray job looks so good. This is the most exciting part about spraying and painting is when you take that tape off and you see the, see the final result obviously before we sand it.
Ben is going to roll gel coat onto the bottom side of the hull. This is where the underwater light goes. We've got Carlos starting on the sanding here. We've got uh, 320 on a six inch orbital. And uh, he's just knocking back that first layer of that orange peel effect you get that which comes out of the spray gun. So he's just doing the flat areas with an orbital. Around the edges, we're going to be doing it all by hand. Have to be very careful not to sand too much gel coat off and go through to the fiberglass. That will be a big problem. So another thing I want to get done while we're out of the water is to repair this sort of stuff. This was a crack here when the boat, when the bulkheads broke, the hulls came up and it cracked here. Plus all of these little spider cracks that we have everywhere. There's another crack on that side as well. So uh, this needs glass and then gel coat and then we'll spray it at the end. So the first thing it needs is uh, some filler, just to fill up some of these little holes and stuff. And then I'll just put some glass over it grind it back a little bit, fill it, and then it'll be ready to spray. Same deal here, this is the port side. Uh, this needs a bit more grinding, this glass is no good. So I'm gonna have to grind that out, clean this up a bit more, and then I'll just get some filler in there and then start glassing and get this shape back. This crack here was also there before the hurricane. The bulkheads were obviously damaged beforehand and the boat bent and places like here cracked, so they made a stainless steel plate to cover that crack. This is not factory. Same thing over there, there's a stainless steel plate made over the cracks that are existing. Uh, I did not put those in, so there were cracks there. Why were there cracks? Because the boat moved. Why did the boat move? Because the bulkheads were damaged. Simple as that. So yeah, it is what it is. It's easy to blame everything on the hurricane, but uh, there's a boat right behind me here that's got damaged bulkheads. No hurricane, never run aground. More spider cracks here. Again, from the boat moving too much. Still have to finish that repair, which goes under the support here, which holds up the uh, coach roof. been a solid day's work so we tucked into a few beers for open mic night. Well if they freed me from this prison if that railroad train was mine well I bet I'd move it on a little further down the line far from Folsom prison that's where I want to stay and I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my Exciting stuff this morning. We are putting the hardtop panels up. <laughs> so that uh, non-skid turned out insane. I'll show you in a second, but we'll bring the panels up and we'll put them over here. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. Lovely and the top. Super grippy. It's, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's almost too grippy. It's actually kind of sore. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be very nice to uh, sit on here cross legged or anything like that. Here we go, that's the shiny side, which is the underside for there. And this is the top side, which is super grippy with that non skip. Couldn't be much happier with that. So we're just gonna remove this panel here 
because I need to make some holes in the front of these panels to run the cables. So I can't get a hole in the corner there. So we're gonna remove this so I can get in from the front. So when we've drilled these through for the cables, the plugs fit through nicely. But what we're left with is a really sharp, jagged edge here. So we've just taken some fuel hose, we're cutting small sections off it, splitting it down the middle, and we're ending up with something like this. And then we're just putting this in to give us a nice little rubber grommet. Homemade, that fuel hose costs $2. Okay, set that there. So the other thing we're doing, which I think is gonna work out quite nicely, is we've got this foam, and we're gonna put this between all of the panels so that when we bolt it all together, it's gonna be hard up against the panels like that, and we'll just be able to put the silicon on top of this, and that'll stop the silicon from running down between the panels and all over the deck it not only sort of makes it waterproof on its own, but the silicon on top will have something nice to sit on. So this is all a little bit experimental, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Try throwing foam into the wind. <laughs> Let's screw this one down now. Cool. That foam will just go in there. Look at that. We've got this that arrived. Um, these are our lithium batteries, our Victron equipment. We've got a super exciting day for you today because we've got some new crew arriving. So I'll go inside soon and introduce you to Lean, who is Ben's girlfriend. And tonight, Jacob and Abby are coming. Jacob is a videographer and he's gonna be helping me out with the videos. He does incredible work. So hopefully there's a big lift in the standard of these videos. So keep an eye out for that and he's bringing his girlfriend Abby um, so super excited to see them I'll introduce you to them tonight let's go meet Lean 